Here's an example that illustrates the geometric distribution. Roll a pair of fair dice repeatedly until a double six appears. Let the random variable x be the number of rolls prior to the appearance of the first double six. Find the probability mass function f of x, find the expected value of x, the variance of x, and the probability x is less than 24. We should throw in the fact that these are fair dice here. If you let success in each uh, Bernoulli trial correspond to rolling a double six, then the probability of success on each one of those trials, that is each roll of a pair of fair dice, is 1 36th. Based on that, the number of rolls prior to the appearance of the first double six will have probability mass function, which is geometric, and it will have PMF P times 1 minus P raised to the x power for x equals 0, 1, 2, etc. failures before the first success. If you were to plot this probability mass function, the first spike on the plot would be 1 36th. The next spike would be 35 36 times 136 and then 35 36 squared times 136 etc and you'd get this classic geometric decline it was cut off here at 50 but it goes all the way out to infinity so we now have the probability mass function f of x we're now working on the expected value of x and that is on the next page so mu or the expected value of x is 35 and you get that by simply plugging into the formula e of x equals 1 minus p divided by p and that will give you a balance point on this distribution of 35. So if you wanted to balance again a barbell which is weightless and you have weights like this going all the way out to infinity then the balance point would be right there at 35. That takes care of the population mean. And now the population variance, we also have a formula for the population variance and it was 1 minus p divided by p squared and when you plug in the values it turns out that is 1260 and remember the units here are going to be number of rolls which means the number the units here will be rolls squared. Finally the last thing to calculate is the probability that the random variable x is less than 24 and so the probability x is less than 24 is the probability x is less than or equal to 23 because this is a discrete random variable uh, defined on the non-negative integers and you will notice the probability a random variable being less than or equal to something is the CDF so this is the CDF of the geometric random variable evaluated at 23 now the, CD, the CDF of the geometric is in closed form and we derived it earlier as 1 minus 1 minus p raised to the x plus 1 power. So this is 1 minus 35 36 raised to the 24th power and when you work that out at least to four digits that turns out to be 0.4914. So going back to the previous page that 0.4914 will correspond to sp the spikes associated with 0 through 23 and so if you circle those spikes 1, 2, 3 I think I got them here. Those spikes right there correspond to, if you add up their heights, 0.4914. Now this actually corresponds to a rather famous gambling game from way back. What they would do is they would give somebody a pair of fair dice and they would say you can have 24 rolls of these fair die, dice and 
if you get a double six you win and if you don't see double sixes you lose and the probability of getting double sixes was 0.4914 and that's what makes it a reasonable gambling game is this 4914 is close to one half so the house will win in the long run but there is incentive here for a gambler to play that game and you can picture that would take it takes quite a while to roll a pair of dice 24 times but this was back before television and the internet and cell phones and all that and you could see this as you got more and more rolls that this might uh, provide some entertainment and uh, some winnings for the uh, gamblers as well. Now finally down at the uh, bottom of the next page if you wanted to calculate this quickly that is, what if I want the CDF of a geometric random variable with p equals 136 evaluated at 23? You would put in p geom, if you remember this first letter p indicates that you want the CDF, and of course the GEOM corresponds to a geometric random variable, and you put in the x value, which is 23, and you put in the p value, which is 136, and this will return. 0.4914. So that's how it is done in R.